Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Bachelor. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day, before starting the video, please subscribe and keep watching for more details videos. Leslie Fema has fun-filled night out with former Bachelorette. The crossover you didn't know you needed. Golden Bachelor runner-up Leslie Fema enjoyed a fun night out with this former Bachelorette. Keep reading for all the details on the unexpected friendship. Jerry Turner's runner-up settles into life after heartbreak. As Jerry Turner and Teresa Nist settle into newlywed life and plan their upcoming honeymoon, how is Leslie Fema doing? She was infamously dumped on national television during the Golden Bachelor finale. Neither Leslie or viewers were prepared for the shocking turn of events. Amid the heartbreak, the runner-up said that Jerry didn't have any integrity, but they made up in time for the wedding. After attending the Golden Wedding, Leslie Fema returned to Minnesota and seemingly resumed her normal life. The personal trainer often shares glimpses into her life after reality TV. In one recent Instagram post, she took advantage of the winter weather to hit the slopes. Great boarding on this beautiful day with my bestie, she captioned a carousel of snapshots from the outing. Another photo showed Leslie hanging out with rapper 50 Cent, aka Fofty, to Vanderpump Rules fans. I kick. Click here if you don't know. One fan dropped the comment, so Gary, sick, seems to be a good guy, but girl you are too cool for him, on the photo of Leslie and the rap legend. Leslie Fema has fun-filled night out with former Bachelorette. Should her bestie be worried after Leslie's newfound friendship with a fellow Bachelor Nation alum? The former professional skater hit up a Minnesota Timberwolves game with another Minnesota native. She shared a photo on her Instagram story cozying up to season 18 Bachelorette Michelle Young. Just two hometown girls watching the Timberwolves game, Leslie wrote on the cute snapshot. However, she's not the first Golden Bachelor star to make friends with a Bachelorette. Kathy Swartz bonded with Katie Bigger over their love of Austin, Texas. Katie lives there with her fiancé, season 27 Bachelor, Zach Shellcross. Was she getting tips for Golden Bachelorette? Perhaps Michelle Young and Leslie Fema bonded over loving and losing someone on reality TV. While Michelle's season ended in an engagement, her relationship with Nate Alyakoya didn't last long. She's now dating someone new. Michelle Young's season is one of the few Bachelorette seasons available on Hulu if you want to take a walk down memory lane. Click here to find out where to stream other past seasons of the franchise. Or perhaps Leslie Fema was asking for tips about being a Bachelorette lead. ABC confirmed earlier this month that a Golden Bachelorette spinoff is happening this fall. Leslie is the most obvious choice, though the network hasn't made anything official yet. What do you think of Leslie Fema and Michelle Young hanging out? Do you think Leslie is a shoe-in for Golden Bachelorette? Sound off in the comments. Medina Alam reveals alarming reason she's scared to work out. Medina Alam was unfortunately how some of the Maria Jorga's drama began on The Bachelor. Joey Grazia Day didn't get to know a ton about Medina because it seemed as though a lot of time was used up by the drama. There was also a lot of Medina's story that didn't air on television. One conversation in particular is being addressed. She was very emotional, but the reason why was not revealed. So, she is sharing the story behind it all. Keep reading to find out more. Medina Alam reveals reason behind being so emotional. Medina Alam was sent home at the rose ceremony in Spain. Now that she is off the show, she is slowly sharing more about the things that went down and some of those were not seen on television. One thing she is addressing is how emotional she was after one of the group dates. Medina went to TikTok to share her story. She noted she has gotten a lot of questions from fans about her conversation with Maria that led to all the drama. So, she's sharing more about it now. She said a year ago she was diagnosed with rhabdo. Medina revealed that it is a critical situation and if not treated a person can die in just a few short days. It is caused by someone working out too intensely. More specifically, pull-ups and push-ups can contribute to this condition. She revealed being in the hospital for more than a week. 
Just in her arms alone, she had 12 pounds of fluid. She was very swollen. It was hard for nurses to find veins, because of the horrible swelling. Medina also shared that doctors were uncertain if she would need dialysis or even if she would be permanently disabled in some way. Orthopedic surgeons also kept coming in not knowing for sure if they would or would not have to cut into her arms. It was awful for her and caused her to fear working out. She could not even bathe or feed herself because of the horrible swelling. Working out has always been her safe haven and she feels as though it was ripped from her. Even a year later, she is still scared to work out and the group date she was on reminded her of that fear. That was a big reason she was so emotional. Medina continued saying to let this be a reminder that everyone has a story. Medina captioned her TikTok saying, There's almost always more to a person's story beating heart one year later and the fear I still have with working out still impacts me, it won't ever stop me from doing it, but it certainly influences how it feels. Working out has always been my therapy and safe haven, so to have it stripped from you so quickly was much more than a physical loss. Red Heart What do you think about this part of the story that was not shown on television? Have you ever experienced this condition before? Stay tuned for more updates.